Okay, welcome Scrafters. Um, I thought it would essentially be remiss of me uh, when I'm posting videos of uh, various cheeses that you can do not to show you a cannon rush. Um, so here it is. Uh, this uh, game, how this started out was me furiously like spamming the keyboard wondering why nothing was happening. And I eventually realised that somebody had uh, changed the key bindings on the extra MS account to grid uh, and that's not what I play so uh, nothing was happening at all and I thought oh, sod it, I've already wasted the first 10 or 15 seconds I might as well go and do a cannon rush uh, so this is the approximate build um, you get your pylon done and it's forge first um, you know, some people choose to build the pylon and the forge on the other side of the map um, in, in or near their opponent's base but you know um, you actually you get a quicker first cannon up if you build it at home, arguably. Um, I don't think there's any need for that. So, the map in question, uh, this is my opponent's base. Bear in mind, uh, from my point of view, I can't see up here. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, notice the position of the pylon. Now, at this point, if you're playing against like a person, uh, they won't just go, oh look, there's a building there, I'll just ignore it. Um, but this is the AI, and the AI is stupid, as we know. So, um, what am I doing? Why building cannons here? The the key here is if you can get cannons completed down here before your opponent has noticed them, uh, and you know, the AI's uh, worker is right here, but plenty of people won't have actually looked in this area. Now, um, often people will have stuff at the top of the ramp, so they'd probably see this one, that one's a bit silly. Um, but the key here is to get a couple of cannons done underneath this uh, cliff, um, up nice and close, and then send your worker up into the base to give these vision, uh, because it's only with the worker up here that these are able to see things on the top of uh, this cliff. Otherwise, they wouldn't shoot anything up here and they would be very easy to deal with. So you can see this cannon can't see this stuff until the worker gets over there. Um, so once these cannons are finished or close to finished, you get a worker up in here, give them the vision they need, and you start building cannons from the men. Uh, and, and your opponent at this stage is in quite a lot of trouble, really. And um, to be honest, here I, I can just like stop looking at this and go home and and do whatever I need to do. Um, you know, get cast on, get a, a side core, get those types of things, maybe expand. Um, uh, yeah, that's kind of it really, um, and, and that will very quickly be uh, GG, if, you know, once it's got to this stage, uh, this is essentially getting over it. I mean, as a Terran, one of the things you might choose to do is, is pick up your buildings and, and simply fly them away, but you know, by the time you've done that, you're just so far behind, you've lost so much, that it's basically GG. Um, so, you might be wondering, how, how do you beat this? Um, well, the, the, there you go, like three minutes to over. Um, the way to beat a cannon rush is, is firstly to know that it's happening. Um, you know, d don't just scout on the other side of the map. Uh, make sure you occasionally send. You know, you, after a while you get used to the timings, you get used to when to expect this type of stuff to turn up. If we check, I mean, it, uh, it, it was reasonably early that this first pylon's going down. Um, you know, so have a worker just kind of scout the perimeter of your base and, and check for, for filth like this. Um, similarly, if you are scouting on the other side of the map, if you're against a Protoss and you see that they've gone forge first, this is a likely uh, reason. Um, so you sort of get these hints that uh, something is astray if you go into your opponent's base and they don't even have a gateway yet, but they've got a forge finish. And you, you're thinking, okay, this is uh, almost certainly a cannon rush. So what do you do? Um, there's a couple of things you can do. You know, if the first pylon hasn't even finished, you can attack the pylon with three or four workers, and, and that might work. Um, as the cannons come down, you can attack a building cannon with three workers, and the workers will kill it before it finishes. But obviously, once a cannon has finished, um, you know, the person cannon rushing will build their next cannons within range. Um, of that first one, so you don't want to, if you put workers around this to try and kill it, they will die. Uh, so, so you don't want to do that. Um, the key things really ultimately are to kill the worker that is doing is planting the buildings. If you can kill this guy, uh, the cannon rush stops. Um, the other thing you've got to do is don't let this guy up the ramp. 
because it's coming up the ramp here that gives these cannons sight. If he doesn't get up the ramp, these don't have sight, and you can just stand here on the edge of this cliff with a single marine, and you can just shoot these down. Um, so, you know, really, uh, if a cannon rush gets to this stage, you've lost. It's it's already too late. Once the cannons, once the first couple of cannons have finished up, um, there's there's a good chance that you can't defend against it. If you're um, a Terran, you, you know, there's things you can do to buy yourself some time. You can build a wall here so they can't get up the ramp. Um, obviously, with the worker can come to here and, and give the cannon sight of that, but, you know, a marine parked over here um, can probably discourage the worker, can shoot it and, and force it to fall back or it'll die. So there's that. Uh, you can lift buildings up and fly them out of range of the cannon, uh, forcing your opponent to, to, um, to build uh, even more cannons. You know, bear in mind this is not cheap. Uh, the, these cannons are 150 each. The pylons are two are, are 100 each. So there's 300 um, in pylons um, and and 900 in cannons. That you know that's a, a large investment for the Protoss player. Um, if they're conscientiously doing this, there's a good chance they've got literally nothing at home. Here's the Protoss base. So, you know, another potential um, way to play against this is if you sense it, detect it coming, uh, to get a worker out and, and to build a barracks over here um, and, and simply take time at this side of the map um, to just muck about and buy time until you've got enough Marines here to run into the Protoss base, kill the forge first, um, uh, and then just slay all the workers uh, and kill your opponent's base um, because you can fly your buildings away from this so that's another um, alternative strat for for sort of defeating the cannon rush but again you have to know that it's coming in time to respond to it so really beating cannon rushes is about detecting cannon rushes um, yeah that's it if you're playing zerg um, you know, spine crawlers are good. Get get spine crawlers down as soon as you realise the cannon rush is coming. Uh, Zerg have the advantage that um, cannons cannot be built on Zerg creep, so it's difficult to get cannons within range of of the Zerg buildings. Um, so, you know, as your creep spreads out around your hatchery and stuff, uh, these cannons cannot be built on it. So you can build spine crawlers um, so that cannons can't be built close to the edge of your creep, and, and that's a pretty good, a pretty solid defense. Um, you know, once you've got a spawning pool, you can build spine crawlers. So most Zergs, by the times the cannons are becoming a threat, have got the ability to build spine crawlers, and that works pretty well. Um, as a Protoss, uh, you've got options. I if your build is normal, uh, you'll probably have a gateway, you'll have a cybernetics core. Uh, that gives you the ability to build shield batteries. Um, so you can frequently depend, uh, defend a sort of creeping cannon rush by, by building a couple of shield batteries. And then as the worker comes up and tries to plant cannons, you only really need um, a couple of uh, stalkers with, with two or three shield batteries behind them to, to be able to take on a cannon and not die. Uh, alternatively, if you have your own forge, um, you know, build a cannon. <laughs> um, yeah, so there it is. Cannon rush. Horrible. Nasty things. Nobody likes them. GG.